Hi, hi, hello. So today's video is a concept sort of court concept sort of video where I talk about an idea I have for either a comic, a video game, or just a cool story idea that I don't know what I'm gonna make into yet. Um, I have a lot of these. I come up with stories like I will listen to a song and then an OC is born. So, um, you know, this is basically my an endless well of ideas for me. And so basically this is this is going to be an idea I want to make into specifically a video game. Um, I'm learning how to code, but this will not be in any near future whatsoever because I vaguely know coding and I would have to be I have to be very would have to be super good at it. So, yeah. I also would need a ton of assets because of the nature of the game. But since um I first um before I start with my idea, I should say um for the drawing um trigger warning for blood yeah um they're vampires this game is about vampires this game would will it will include gl blood because you are a vampire killing people um so yeah um if you don't like blood uh click on i don't know click on my channel i have other videos that are not uh, that don't have blood if you don't like blood cool great dandy okay so this video game is you play as the uh, girl with the with the with the kind of sailor moon hair uh, right now it looks like sailor moon hair but she has like half up half down hair and her name is Michaela um, the guy who's standing behind her is her brother Cosmond um, at least I think that's how you say that the <laughs> I gave them all the siblings you're gonna have um, she has six siblings and Michaela has six siblings and they're all going to be um, Romanian um, I decided this I don't know it was I knew there were gonna be some some from some sort of Eastern Europe so I picked I just kind of picked Romanian okay a Romania but yeah so this is the game um you and your six other siblings are in a rivalry to see who can kill the most humans um because you're a vampire you don't you see humans more as like how we see like some cows on a pasture you know, like, like, they, like, like, they're an animal, we eat them, unless you're vegan, but you, vegan vampires, um, I don't even want to, I don't think they exist in this world, so just imagine there's no vegans for this, for the sake of this, um, idea, and that's how you, they see humans, and, but there's no human processing farm, so you kind of have to hunt them, them yourself, so instead of just saying, oh, that's a cow eating, that's, that's gonna be a steak soon, you think, you, if you were have to kill that cow yourself, oh, which cow am I gonna eat for dinner? Which is how they think. Um, um, they don't think about this about other creatures. Like, um, there are gonna be werewolves in this world. They don't think of werewolves like that because werewolves view humans in a very similar way to vampires, unless they are like, like, like enslaved in some sort of way. Because I think in this world, I'm thinking to balance out to make sure werewolves and vampires and any other cryptid doesn't completely extinct humanity humanity has to have some sort of power back over them so maybe some sort of curse can be put on a family of werewolves to control them by a family of humans which it would be bad um mostly because the humans can do whatever they want to these poor werewolves who didn't ask for it sometimes and werewolves also kill animals so they're not they're less they're less bad than vampires um that was off track but basically you're playing this game and you are an 18 year old or a 19 year old posing as if you were um in high school um even though she's technically she's like thousands of years old but in vampire years she's like 18 19 and she basically goes around high schools posing as a high schooler um being able to stalk and hunt down any um sky's the limit when it comes to humans because a lot of a high school the sometimes high schools are really small but other times high schools can be like 2,000 kids so if you find a way to attend a high school with 2,000 kids like that like that's 2,000 people you could eat for lunch you know that like it's more um eh. and all you would need to do is find one that's alone completely alone make sure they didn't and make sure they didn't scream um so that's basically the point of the game um 
in each uh in each school there will be a like top priority person that you will kill because they have really nice blood and or they have the nicest blood um and or um the main well yeah they have the nicest blood and um the way vampires are hardwired into in a certain way is they will immediately um if they find someone with like really good like blood they will start to immediately like get obsessed with them and try to um, hunt them down to drink their blood kind of like a yandere but minus the like the love feeling it's more like an obsession with wanting to eat you for lunch uh because yeah and in every one of these there is a t- in every school that you go to uh when you're traveling from school to school uh there's a top priority person and once you kill that top priority person you move on to the next school um or you get the option to if you want to stay longer um to to kill more humans and your goal is at the end of every round um try to get as many people as possible to um to try to beat your siblings in this petty little game that they have and right now i only have cosmin and then the main character designed um the way cosmin kills people um, is quite different. He does not try to go to high schools. He goes to bars and clubs and just brings people home and does that. Um, don't ask me how they're not caught. Um, in a lot of ways because they're also super freaking tall. So, another thing. Their physique. Um, I wanted... Vampires, I don't know. For some reason, I thought I think of them kind of like tigers. If you're sitting in the middle of the woods. In wherever tigers live. In the jungle, right? Right? And you're just sitting there eating a sandwich. You're not going to hear a tiger coming for you. Um, even though they're super big. They're the biggest big cat, right? You're not going to hear them coming for you. But then they're going to come for you. And it's going to be scary. <laughs> uh, and you're not going to even notice that they're there until it's too late. Right? I wanted the, my, the vampires to be kind of like that. I wanted them to be big, but I also wanted them to be stealthy to where... If they, you would never see them coming, even though they're like all like six foot four plus. Like Mika- M- Michaela, she's six foot four. That's the shortest they get. Um, to give you an idea. Also, another thing, the vampires. Um, they have different forms. Like vampires can turn into bats stereotypically, right? But these vampires, um, Michaela and Cosmin and her other siblings are from a s- very um. Uh, like, a kind of royalish sort of vampire family, where they have the ability to switch between, um, different forms. Because there are different kinds of vampires in this world. There are gremlin vampires that look more like, like, gremlins and goblins. There are, um, and then there are demon vampires that just, they look like they're these giant, look, demon-looking things. When I mean giant, I mean, like, they're, like, ten feet tall and have, like, a twenty-foot wingspan or whatever. Because they're, like, these giant bat demons and Michaela's family and then there are the human looking ones like Michaela and and Cosmin but their family has the ability to switch between the gremlin form and the demon form and the human form um pretty much as at will with how much power they have in their body which is determined by how much blood they have um like if you don't have enough power to stay in your human form you'll turn into your gremlin form because that is more energy efficient um yeah cool so basically um oh shit um and that's basically how it goes so when you're sneaking around in a game you are you know trying to uh you're you're switching between the form like let's just say you need to be smaller you would switch between your uh, to your gremlin form you also have a bat form where you turn into a bat and you can fly but you i i imagine that in the game you can use that sparingly because it'd be a little op because you could basically get wherever you wanted because you're so tiny um and the demon form you wouldn't use very much one because you would never have the power and then two you would almost never need a um a 10 foot demon like you would never need that form unless you're fighting a another vampire b a vampire hunter or or c some sort of really powerful werewolf um but yeah that is my game idea i also want in the game for there to be an overarching plot of there being a vampire hunter um, of a vampire hunting family trying to kill these vampires, um, ex- uh, specifically Michaela, um, because you're, you know, you're the main character, she's the main character, and for this family, I want them to be, well, I want you to hate them, right? 
Like, if you think about it, you think of a vampire hunter as kind of the good guy, right? Vampires eat people, but I want them to have some sort of element of bad. So what I was thinking is, is the, um, to make them seem more bad is that they enslave werewolves to do a lot of their bidding against their will. Um, so I was thinking there could be a plot where you basically free werewolves, the werewolves, or you free specifically um maybe the werewolves that have been enslaved by that family and you help them and um maybe specifically one of them and that one decides to help you out now with your mission and you can get more people down and eat more people and become more powerful and even beat your siblings in this petty little game <laughs> so yeah um that is pretty much all i have for my idea um I don't know I don't know how many people would be interested in this but I think it's a cool idea I really like it I because I would probably play a game like that and so you know um, comment if you like my idea um, if there's any questions about how anything would work comment them um, but yeah thank you so much for watching if you did I know I was kind of talking the whole time and yeah uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Come